Hello and welcome to uh, Brothers Forge Gaming. Here's Aces of the Air on the PlayStation 1. Now, I don't know if you guys can see that right there. Published by Age Tech. Now, Age Tech is associated with some games from software back in the day. Uh, I don't know if they were a subsidiary company, maybe some employees branched off or something, but anytime you see Age Tech, not all of their games are great. Uh, a lot of them are misses, but, but typically they're at least decent games. Now, if I see Age Tech anything, I buy it. Uh, and something, since we've been doing this channel, uh, we've, been, we've been at this about a year and a half now or so here on YouTube, me and EZ and the bunch, the gang here at Brothers Forge Gaming. Now, when we started this, uh, you know, we've been learning a lot. We just, you know, game hunting, just all the different things, watching different channels, you know, all that different stuff. So, uh, apparently there's something we learned in that, was what I was getting at, is that apparently H-Tech did a series of, like, sports kind of games on the PS1. They have just generic everything, boxing, kickboxing, skydiving, you know, fishing, this and that. There's all these different ones. And actually, most of them are pretty good. Uh, we did a video on the kickboxing one, and that was a surprise sleeper. It kind of had anime uh, graphics and different things. It was actually a pretty decent game. Uh, kind of the gameplay reminded me a little bit of like if Ready to Rumble boxing kind of merged with Tekken. Uh, you know, obviously not that advanced. Uh, but anyway, back to the game. If you guys saw there, there was a lot of customizable features of the airplane with the different colors. There's, a, there's some unlocks. Uh, so there is playability and replay value to this game. Uh, now right out the gate, this level was tough. It doesn't tell you that you have to switch to this mode to bomb. Because you basically use your missiles to kill the planes and then you're like, well I don't have any bombs. So I was sitting here trying to shoot those, but every time I would try to shoot those from a distance, you know, it was getting irritating because it kept saying, oh, altitude, all this different stuff. But realistically all you had to do was switch to this view and hit the bomb button. And it looks like you have unlimited bombs. So, you know, there's all those little things you couldn't really tell as far as a training tutorial goes. They didn't do a good job explaining that. Um, but once you figured that out, it really opened up the rest of the game. I was able to keep playing a couple more levels without a hitch. Uh, so, you know, so far the game is really cool. And as you can see here at the end of the mission, you get statistics. Uh, so, you know, you can kind of set a bar, or maybe try to compete for high score, whatever you want to do. It has options. It's not just one of those airplane dogfight mission kind of games. I mean, when it comes down to it, that's really it's what it is. Uh, so here we get a new plane. This one was much faster. I, I liked it. <laughs> so this mission was simple. I think you just shoot down a couple planes um, and the same thing on the next mission. And then uh, one of them ends up, it's like it says it's a rescue mission, but all I could figure out how to do is shoot planes and they kept coming. So I must have missed something on that. Uh, so that gets cut short a little bit at the end. But I did want to say it's a fun game. It reminds me a lot of Pilot Wings graphics on the SNES, which is weird because this is next gen. You think uh, you know the graphics would be much more advanced on a on a 32-bit system, but something about that Super Nintendo engine that that's what set it apart. Now, as far as processing power and all that, and, and the different power goes, if you measure it in sheer size and volume, the Super Nintendo uh, it, it wouldn't compete. But they did. They did something with the way their color palettes and their different things that allowed publishers and, and developers or whatever to to create these color palettes and, and it, it would make an effect that would it would actually make the graphics look sharper than they were. So you know that's where the SNES had the advantage, and it's noticeable here. Whereas on a system, the next gen system, the graphics, I mean, you could say aren't aren't even as good as uh, Pilot Wings. And, and that's an example of one of the games on the Super Nintendo, uh, I think Mario Kart, F-Zero, uh, the games with that kind of style of graphics. That's an example of, of what the Super Nintendo would do that other systems couldn't do. Um, and that's not to say it's a superior system. Uh, I am partial to in, uh, Nintendo products from back in the day, uh, but you know, Sega is, is great in its own ways. So you, know, you really have to find what you like, and then within that, on each system, there's there's got to be games that you're gonna like more than the other. So that's always the go-to battle. <laughs> Some people say uh, what Sega does, what Nintendo don't, <laughs> which is pretty funny. 
Um, and then, you know, there's like console wars and all that stuff. There's so many cool videos out there on YouTube on that stuff, guys. Uh, we touch on it, you know, maybe in de maybe down the road we'll, we'll start messing around with stuff like that. But as far as it goes right now, just want to bring you the gameplay. Show you what's up if you're out there looking for games and you're like, hmm, I don't know, should I get this? Or maybe you're looking for a game to go buy. That's what we want to bring to you guys. Bring the information that you need to get the games you want to play. Now, I think this is the level I was talking about. We did get a new plane. This one was way faster, too, and I really liked it. Uh, but there was something on this mission that I just I couldn't figure out. Uh, so I shot these planes down for a while, and then I just ended up going, eh, you know, I'm bored. So, fun game and all. I, I do recommend getting it if you like these kinds of games. Uh, and I believe you could probably get it for, you know, around five or so dollars. I mean, it's hard to find games cheaper than that nowadays, especially complete in box. Uh, but, uh, you know, you never know. This is the kind of game you'll see at a thrift shop for a dollar. So, uh, you know, in that case, definitely pick it up. I wouldn't say go out of your way and, and pay, pay more than a handful of dollars for it. But uh, it's a very good game for what it is. And it's, it is entertaining. If, if you enjoy flight sim, kind of mission-based, dogfighting kind of games, it's not as complicated as some of the games of its, of its kind. Uh, like, uh, with uh, Ace Combat, some of those can get a lot more complicated. Um, yeah, <laughs> as you can see there, I got frustrated and just crashed into the, to the ocean, because that's what happens. Well, that was a quick look, guys. I want to say thanks for hanging out. You've been chilling with Brothers Forge Gaming, and we'll see you on the backside. Peace!